Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the, well, the timing is fluid. I think today is the 7th, right? Yeah, so 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, something like that, you know, the near future. Um, this reading may or may not be for you, so it is what it is. I have opened another class for the, uh, well, it's July 18th through August 22nd. Six-week class, a tarot reading class, reading the cards, showing you what I know, teaching you what I know. July 18th through August 22nd, six weeks. Each class is two hours long, same day, same time, every week. Um, you can find the link to book that on my website or in the description below. I also have opened up more private reading slots. I had closed them down, but I have gotten a few requests, so I opened uh, a few. And then I, I might close them down for a little bit. We'll see. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. But right now I've opened just a, a few for Friday and Monday, I do believe. Um, so anyhow, what do we have for a message today? Nine of Wands. So this is somebody that has been wounded, you know, is still standing, very wary, what's going to happen next, but ready, you know, seems like we have somebody here that has been wounded, has been hurt, um, has faced challenges, has overcome those challenges, and is you know, stronger for it, but definitely on guard. This is guarded. It's like, mm, what's going to happen next? I'm ready for it. It's, it's almost like not even ready for it. It's like untrusting. I don't trust what's, you know, there's weariness. Because so many, there's been so many challenges, there's been so many hurdles, this person, and it could be you, has overcome so much already, has come so far. You know, don't give up, don't give up. There's a lot of strength in this card and perseverance. Hmm. Maybe a little, bit, a little bit of fearful, you know, a little bit of fear in there because of the previous wounds, the previous challenges, you know. There's an exciting opportunity because he has the Ace of Wands in his hands, Is you know. This person has had many challenges. This is a warrior. Wow. Oh, my goodness. This is stressful. This is stressful, worried. Um, oh my God, a lot of worry, anxiety, fear, fear. There could even be some illness. There's obviously been some suffering. There's been pain. There's been some sort of betrayal or illness. Could even be a mental illness. Uh, you know, it could be. Um, if it's not, I mean, there's anxiety, depression, There's been pain, there's been suffering, there's been hurt. This is the death of a situation or idea. Healing, needing to heal, need to take a time out. There's extreme worry, anxiety. You know, this is like waking up from a nightmare. It's like having a hard time sleeping. There's so much anxiety, so much fear, you know. And it's because of something that has, you know, somebody has had to overcome so many challenges. They're wounded in their head. Perhaps it's time to take a break, to, to take a time out, to heal, and 
just relax or something. Somebody's really in their head. They're really in their thoughts. There's a lot of fear, anxiety, and worry. Um, could even have something to do with death, you know, it could be like fear of mortality of something ending and what, and death is an ending. Does it have to be a physical death, fear of something ending or something happening? This is a dark place. There's some sort of demons here, you know, there's like in, but I feel like it's in somebody's head. Honestly, there's a lot of fear, anxiety, having a hard time, really, really struggling. There's praying, praying, praying. Somebody's praying as well. <sighs> There's some sort of, um, I want to say it's extreme worry. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Nine of sword, that is extreme worry, giving deep thought to something, a relationship, or, you know, we got two nines together, nines are about closure, it's time to move on from something, there's been sleepless nights, there's been anxiety, there's been regrets, there's a need to move on, need to face those fears, this is extremely afraid, oh my god, why is this happening, this is so, 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 so worried or anxious, or there could be sickness, why now, don't give up, don't give up, let go of your fears, don't give up, don't give up, there's been, uh, something has happened that has caused a lot of stress, or it's caused a lot of anxiety and worry, but that nine of wands, I mean, there's closure that is coming because of these nines. But there's a need to not give up on something. Don't give up on yourself. Because nines are soul solitude. It's about yourself. Don't give up on yourself. Don't let your fears or your anxieties or your thoughts hold you back. Mm. Happiness, commitment, home, get-togethers. There could be some sort of fear of something, fear of commitment, fear of getting together, fear of something. Very untrusting, doesn't trust. There's somebody here that doesn't trust giving deep thought to something may have something to do with a marriage or a family situation or a commitment has something to do with happiness ooh injustice not fair lack of integrity not doing the right thing this is a fair this is a fair oh my god why is this happening now this is so it could have something to do with legalities something not going in somebody's favor a decision not going in somebody's favor may have something to do with the home the family the commitment there's some sort of unfairness here lack of accountability there could be an argument with no resolution in sight this could be the end of a marriage the end of a contract somebody's been lying there's been dishonesty this is oh my god this is an oh my god moment it is this is not fair it's not fair seeing very clearly there's some sort of choice there's consequences in both of these cards Ooh, strength reverse this is forcefulness no attack no grace trying to force something control something lack of inner strength no discipline no self-control trying to control something control issues ego issues seeing very clearly what the best choice is there's a there's a 
uh, disharmony here. There's somebody's made a poor decision. There's extreme regrets for making that decision. It's being seen very, very clearly. This is coming out of confusion. It's making a choice, seeing it very clearly, you know, making the choice. There's some sort of consequences here as well. Has something to do with some sort of commitment or something like that. Home, family, get together, gathering. Somebody's been treated unfairly. There's unfair treatment. There's been confusion, illusion, um, poor choices. There's consequences. For the poor choices, these poor choices have, have caused a lot of stress and anxiety and worry. You know, somebody made a poor decision, they made a poor choice. Now it's being seen very clearly and it, may, it has something to do with the home or the marriage or the commitment. It may even have something to do with community with the Four of Wands, but this is uh, somebody that is wounded. Don't give up. Don't try to force anything. Somebody is trying to force something. There's depression again. There's weakness. There's... Um, Fear, 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 fear. Ego. Somebody may have made a choice based on ego, based on pride. Now they're extremely stressed out. They're facing a lot of challenges in that commitment or that home or living situation or whatever it is. Hmm. Now we have Libra, we have Leo. Three of Swords reversed. Ten of Wands. That's a heavy weight. It's a heavy burden. It's a lot of baggage to carry. Torn, 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 torn. Ah, beginning to see that there is another option. There is another option. Something is being seen. There's been denial. There's been a blockage. Hmm. Giving deep thought. Somebody is giving deep, deep thought to something. There's been unfair treatment. They've made a poor choice. They've hurt somebody or they've been hurt. There's forgiveness here. A need to forgive. A need to move on for sure. For sure. But there's pride. There's ego. Somebody has made a choice based on pride. Based on ego. Trying to force something. There's lack of integrity. There's control issues. Somebody's been struggling to find the strength to uh, be honest, seriously, to make another choice. There's some sort of weakness here because of ego, because of pride, because of control issues. Three of Swords reverses forgiveness is things starting to get better, but we have a blockage here. The Five of Cups reverse is kind of similar, okay? It's like seeing that there's another opportunity, beginning to realize that there's been some, there's two options here. There's two choices. This is a painful, stressful decision. There is an opportunity, okay? There's an opportunity to look in a different direction. Somebody's been focusing on a loss. They've been focusing on something that, you know, has, is probably already gone. It's water under the bridge, you know? The Ten of Wands is letting go of heartache. Letting, I mean, this is holding on to something that hurts, but the, the Three of Swords reverse is a release. It's like things are starting to get better. The Ten of Wands is, so this is somebody that has worked really, really hard to overcome challenges. But this is the end of the road. This is the end of it. It's the end of this suffering. It is. There's been suffering. There's been pain. There's been heartache. There's been grief. Somebody's been holding on, burying themselves, burying their head. Just burying their head. There's poor choices here. But there's, there's something that is being seen there is, because this is becoming clear of the choice, coming out of illusion. This is looking in the other direction. This is healing. This is forgiving. But holding on to something that is very, very heavy, that is a burden. This is, this is too much. It's time to let go. Let go of the heartache. Let go of the past. Let go of the hurt. 
you know, let go, let go. Somebody's blocking something. They're blocking. There's some sort of blockage here because of pride. It is definitely because of pride. And when you're wounded, it's a, it's a blow to your ego. It is a blow to your ego when you're wounded. Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. There's some sort of unfairness here. This isn't fair. Somebody's made a poor choice, but they're seeing, but it, there's clarity coming. Something is being made very, very clear. There's forcefulness. There's a lack of grace. There's somebody here that, I don't know if they got themselves into a contract. Maybe they got married or they did something, you know, that was unjust with a person. They made a poor choice. There's some sort of consequences here. We have somebody here that is very strong, but they've let their ego get in the way. They've let their pride get in the way. It's time to focus on the future. You have two choices. You have two choices. You have more than two choices, but here we have two choices. You have to be honest with yourself. What is causing you this stress? What is causing you this anxiety? What is causing you this worry? What is hurting you? What are you clinging to because of your ego, because of your pride? Maybe it's just weakness. Maybe it's fear. Holding on to something that hurts. Maybe because of denial? Or dishonesty? Anyhow, the Five of Cups reversed is beginning to realize that there is another option turning around, going in a different direction, but there is some sort of blockage. We have somebody here that has tried really, 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 really hard to hold on. They have. It's sad. Victory after sorrow. Congratulations. This is this is some sort of hero, right? This is a hero. This is a, uh, a veteran, a leader, taking charge, has taken charge, getting some sort of recognition, being recognized for a job well done. Congratulations. The war is over. The battle is over. The game is over. The conflict is over. This is it. It's over. The end. The end of the war. The end of the battle. The end of the game. The end of fighting. The end. Okay, the five of wands comes before this. And we had it in yesterday's reading, so it makes complete sense. Conflict over. Game over. Okay, congratulations. Things are going to start to get better. But you have to make a choice. This is a choice to have victory, to have success. You have to focus on the future. You have to focus on the future, okay? You have to stop holding on to what hurt you. I'm just saying. Anyhow, the Six of Wands is making progress. It's yes. It's a yes answer. This is it. It's over. So there could be a conversation there could be somebody's been there's been maybe there's been some blocked communication or somebody's been blocked by fear. There could be a conversation, you know, that is happening about whatever is being held on to. There could be a conversation. The Six of Wands is somebody that leads others out of dangerous situations, right? This is a leader. There's been fighting, there's been conflict, this has been heavy, it's been really overwhelming, this is too much to hold on to, there's been grief, there's been sadness, there's been denial, but it's over. This is it, it's over. I mean, the Six of Wands is, re it's, it's, it's over. Congratulations, this is a major accomplishment. 
It is. Now, the Six of Wands is a fighter, right? This is a fighter. This is somebody that um, doesn't give up. This is a, a protector of some sort, getting some sort of recognition for, for leading others out of a situation or for doing the right thing or, you know, being that person, the leader, for being the leader, for doing the right thing. This is the end of the road. It's the end of suffering. Things are going to start to get better. Congratulations. That, that, that war is over. That conflict is over. Things are getting better. Somebody is seeing something that they were in denial about. They let pride and ego cause them to make poor choices. They did. But this is clarity. This is making a choice, becoming clear of the choice. Somebody could be leaving behind a painful situation that really hurt them, that was really heavy. This is heavy. It's heavy, 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 heavy. It's, it's overwhelming. Leaving it behind, dropping it. It's like, you know what? Over. It's over. Ah. Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords is a messenger. This is a messenger of truth. A message is coming. It may bring, it may be, whatever this message is, this is, offers a new beginning. Okay, this is an opportunity to start over. It's an opportunity to uh, take a new approach. Now, pages, uh, this page may be making you an offer, an invite, could be giving some sort of invitation. This is a messenger that is saying something or doing, usually saying something or doing something or offering something. This is an opportunity to start over. To go in a new direction, but it starts with honesty. There is a message that is coming. Or a messenger here. We have a message that is coming. Okay, this is a message. It is a truthful message. This is about taking a new approach. Doing something, I want to say, spontaneous. I think, think something is changing. I mean, the wind is blowing in that car. The trees are moving in the Page of Swords. So I think something is changing. I think this is the winds of change. Okay? Somebody is receiving a message or they're communicating with somebody that is being very honest and upfront. There's examining things, examining the facts, communicating, truth truth the truth is coming out this or being realized the truth has been denied or <clears throat> blocked or something now this messenger may be saying something okay obviously the page of swords is a speaker this is somebody that communicates the truth and takes a new approach with optimism okay there's an optimistic new beginning here there's an offer an invite or a message that is coming there's been some sort of uh, discernment examining of the facts There could be some sort of roadblock as well. I don't know what this roadblock is. If there is a roadblock, I feel like it's going to be removed. I think the roadblock is being removed because of the truth. It's like seeing the truth. Game over, game over. So some sort of truth is coming out. Ah, the wait is over. Hangman reversed. We got somebody here that will never change. Okay. They're very stubborn extremely stubborn missing an opportunity there's an examination going on now i don't know if this examiner is somebody in that works for the public or is uh yeah it could be somebody that works for in protection services 
There's been blo a blockage. There's been denial. There's been, uh, but there's news here. There's information. And the hangman reverse is somebody that is extremely stubborn that will not look at some anything from a new perspective. You know, is missing an opportunity. Is extremely, extremely stubborn. Must let go. Cannot let go. Has has been unwilling to let go is sacrificing someone or something for another person if i can talk is sacrificing themselves for another person or a belief or trying to prove something and this is holding on to something that needs to be let go of this too somebody's been holding on to something now it's a belief or it's a person you know because they're trying to prove a point. This is like a martyr energy. There's a need to look at things from a new perspective. There's a need to be open-minded. There's a need to be honest. And there's been dishonesty. Beginning to see the truth. And it is. This is it is. This is beginning. There's been grief. There's been loss. Prolonged grief. Prolonged grief. Was because somebody's been trying to prove a point. They've been holding on and holding on and holding on. But this is definitely game over. Somebody's going to be saying something. They've been holding back. They've been holding back. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. So here it comes. The wait is over. The wait is over. Game over. Wait over. Hmm. There could be some news. There even could be some punishment here with the hangman reversed. We got somebody here that has their head down. They've been burying it. Burying what? Burying their sorrow. Burying their pain. Two of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles going back and forth, juggling. We got a player here. Juggling's a game. Game over, though, with the Six of Wands. Yes, sir. So anyway, something is about to happen. Somebody's about to take a big step. There's a need to be flexible. There's news coming or a message that is coming. Somebody's changing their mind. They're changing their mind. That's what's happening. They've been holding on to something that really hurts. This is forgiveness. Somebody could be asking for forgiveness there could even be an apology with the five of cups reversed there could be next to the page of swords a message is coming whatever this is a message is coming it may be a surprise could be from, from somebody that's all done playing games okay if you think about this five that's a five six of wands has the five of wands before it which is the gameplay the competition whatever now this is a change, and this is mind. Okay, this person would never change. Maybe they've been hanging on to a belief or whatever. But this is, uh, and, and really stuck with a choice. These are choices. Somebody's been really struggling with making a choice, and it's because of ego. It is. A message is coming. You're going to need to be flexible. You're going to need to adapt. There could be an apology. Somebody may be looking for forgiveness. There's an opportunity to forgive. And this could be a grudge. Both these cards together. Somebody could be holding a grudge. That's not a leader. Leaders don't hold grudges. Do they? Maybe they do. Anyhow... A message is coming. Somebody is has been going back and forth. There's probably been some sort of blockage, denial, um, inability to make a decision, but giving deep thought to the unfair treatment, giving deep thought to the injustice, seeing very clearly what needs to happen. This is game over. There's going to be a shift. There's going to be a change. There's going to be a need to adapt. Good luck. 